one of the great legacies of this law is that it didn't just change the rules. It changed our culture. It empowered people to start speaking out. It made it okay for us as a society to talk about domestic abuse. It made it possible for us as a country to address the problem in a real and meaningful way. And it made clear to victims that they were not alone, that they always had a place to go, and they always had people on their side. And today, because members of both parties work together, we're able to renew that commitment. Today is about the millions of women, the victims of domestic abuse and sexual assault, who are out there right now looking for a lifeline, looking for support. Because of this bill, they'll continue to have access to all the services that Joe first helped establish 19 years ago, national hotline, network of shelters, protection orders that carry across state lines. And we've made incredible progress since 1994, but we cannot let up. Not when domestic violence still kills three women a day. Not when one in five women will be a victim of rape in their lifetime. Not when one in three women is abused by a partner. So I promise you, not just as your president, but as a son and a husband and a father, I'm going to keep at this 